It's a 2000 Mercedes Benz CLK 230. This is the 2.3 in avant garde spec. So, obviously, you get the five spoke alloy wheels, cruise control, aircon, electric seats, um, and a few other bits and bobs, leather, all that kind of stuff. Nice electric folding roof, four seat convertible. Starting to look really good. They've aged very well, these cars, I think. Um, obviously in the best colour being a Mercedes, it needs to be silver with the, uh, with the with the nice five spoke wheels. We'll start by having a look at the bodywork. As you can see, every panel is the same sort of silver. There's not sort of an odd coloured bumper or a dodgy coloured door, which is nice. Starting this front quarter, all very nice. The arches are lovely and solid. There's no, no rust or rot in there. It does have an issue with some bubbling here and there. So just there, as you can see, we'll go down the air. Uh, Front wing could do with a good polish. Going down the driver's side, there's no nasty dings or scrapes, nothing on the on the wing mirror or anything like that. Coming down this whole side, all nice and clean. All the alloys are pretty much unmarked by the looks of things. Four good tyres on them as well. Has just been driven to us. I have had it down the road. It does drive well. Uh, the hood itself, lovely and clean. No rips or tears or anything in that. The 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 mechanism works perfectly. You just undo it at the front and then it folds away electronically. It does have an issue with some peeling and cracking in the paint on the rear quarter, as you can see, and going across the boot lid and a little bit down this side, um, which would be simple enough to fix. I think a good body shop would sort that out for you. Going up the rear there, there's no dental scrapes on the bumpers or anything like that. There's a little bit of bubbling around this registration plate, uh, number, number plate lock. Down the passenger side, again these wheels are unmarked. Tiny little bit of reaction in the, in, in, in the uh, arch there. One sorting out before it gets any worse. And there is a scrape or a scuff, but again, a good polish might sort that out. You can barely see it on the camera. Little mark on the wing mirror there. And again, this front arch is nice. It's normally a common issue down the bottom on, on, on this year Mercedes, but it's really good on this one. On it's got no dint or scrapes or anything in it, no fading or anything there. Headlights are nice and clear, they're normally cloudy on this era, but they've obviously been looked after. We'll have a look at the interior. It's a nice creamy, grey, sort of off-white interior. Could do with a good clean, but passenger seats showing no signs of wear. Nothing wears particularly like a Mercedes, they do so well. Carpets and everything nice and clean, original mats in there. All this carpet up the side of the tunnel is good. Top of the dash and everything's nice. Electric seats in the front, they work well. Door card and everything's good. Passenger rear, again wants a good clean. Um, but the electric headrests come up and down properly and drop for the roof to go down, all that sort of stuff. All work as it should. driver's side there is a bit of wear on the actual handle here um, but the owner has said you can get them from Mercedes very cheap a little bit of a peel on the stitch in there but other than that uh, there's a little bit of wear on the bolster but a good clean and sort that out mainly I would think no real wear on the carpets again all nice a little bit of wear on the top of the steering wheel all the dials and everything are good Rear on the driver's side's nice. Headlining on the on the convertible top's really good. Nice good spec with it being avant-garde, like I said. Have a look in the booth. Find the key. So again, it's got the storage space for the for the HUD there. You can get in there and see that's nice and dry, clean. It's always good. Lift that boot floor up. Everything's under there, so the rear. So the full-size spare wheel, lock and wheel nut. First aid kit, it's unused, nice new battery on it. Good sized history file with this car, which again, we'll detail in the description. Look under the engine bay. So 2.3. Compressor, 
It is quite a sweet engine, nice and smooth. We'll start it up. There you go, start up straight away. Like I said, nice and smooth. It was driven to us. It does seem to drive well. There you have it, it's a 2000 230CLK. A couple of little bits of the bodywork need addressing, but it's a nice solid car, good example. Worth sorting out, worth saving. If there's any queries or questions, just get in touch.